Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we did some overhauling and because of that we now have the biggest classroom I think we've ever had in any of these series which is uh, useless but also I guess a fairly rare achievement if there was such a thing. Either way we cracked on with that, some of the overhauling and also placed the foundation for what will be the death row area in the centre which is what we're going to be building in this episode and also two additional buildings at the top and bottom which most likely will become another common room similar to this one here. So overall that is the goal but obviously it's going to take quite a while to build all of this and finish this and crack on with the rest of it but overall pretty happy and and let's just see what we can manage to do. So first things first, I'm going to remove the tables that are in the yard next to the chess boards because, well, tables, although I guess one could sit on them, the prisoners are, they're not too keen to be quite honest with you, although the guard is very keen, but yeah, we still have to remove those there. Bit of a mistake on my part and obviously pointed out in the comments there, but just recently got to it now. And there you go, we'll fix that. So hopefully once I put some actual benches in, it will function. I also want to to <laughs> I do want to alter the classroom. I'm not totally happy with it, mainly because we've got hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16, 32, uh, 40. <laughs> Is it 40? Uh, 40 school desks, which is twice as many people as you can have in the classroom at any one time for any given program. So we could literally split that in two and have two rooms, uh, two classrooms, and it be just as efficient so we may go ahead and alter that i'm not going to do it now because we've had enough overhauling for for one for one session so yeah we'll we'll do that another time maybe towards the latter part of the series we might even just leave it to be honest but we'll, you know that's uh, not sitting well with me but what i do want to do is uh touch on that later on we'll we'll, we'll check it out but anyway over to the uh the shop here and i'm going to place a shop front because i know a couple of people said an additional shop front maybe of uh, some advantage and I'm going to place them on the side here because well why not there's no reasons why we can't have another shop front I don't know if it uh, functions but there you are also over here as well because we've got this shop counter and I think it would be what happens what tends to happen and I don't know if this will work or not but what tends to happen is that if you have just one shop counter they all congregate around one I'm hoping that if you put a couple more in then we have oh looks like a bit of violence there let me just pause it I'm hoping a couple more shop counters will make people sort of all line up there so that might be a little bit better where is the violence happening now I've heard a taser go off, but I can't see it. There is a, a dog that's currently exhausted. That's uh, Hattie. Oh, there's there's Hattie there, who is exhausted, and uh, it says carrying jail keys. Apparently, I didn't realise dogs carry jail keys. How curious. Anyway, so <laughs> we can see the danger level is going up, most likely due to a freedom need. Let me just have a quick look. And, oh, there's exercise needs, actually, so they're going to hopefully fulfil that in here. They've got, oh yeah, there's the weights benches being being utilised, and shirts not being utilised by this guy as well. And also, apparently, a tunnel, which could be in that corner there. Oh, no, it is definitely a tunnel. That is Mark Stubbs's tunnel. Let me just remove that because it is not permitted and we'll uh, get them back into solitary and then back over there anyway that's now at least found so pretty good and also <laughs> what's happening here oh he's searching i was gonna say why is that worker not heading out it's because this guy's searching there we go and oh apparently that i have no idea what was going on there they were near the door and then that now they're walking off even though there's a tunnel. workers are silly all right anyway so Lots of stuff coming in, like the lights. I'm just going to speed up to max speed and let this crack on. I know there's been a couple of comments regarding the shop as well. We've put the shop front in, but also regarding the the work time and such. There's a lot of needs for luxuries, and because a lot of the people that are working and have the money, uh, well, they're working and have money, but they don't have the free time to then go and spend the money because... They're working. So when they finish work, they come to the shop and nobody's operating in the shop. So there is a couple of ways to fix that. We could give people more uh, free time. Um, that may may help, but it depends on when they like leave. And yeah, it's a bit more of a problem. The other oh, couple of ways, actually one of the main ways, and there's oh, two deaths. Volatile, tough and green thumb. And also the guard dog. Spitfire, the guard dog, has been killed. And we see Paul lever leverage, is it? 
Levisage is currently uh, it's volatile and they're currently having a fight with the guard and also the psychologist. I don't know what programs was running here. Reform program, apparently. Alcoholics group therapy, I think. Yeah, certainly not conflict resolution. Wow. Okay. It's always the dogs that seem to suffer in this game. But there you go. We don't have anyone patrolling here. Yeah, they are teaching alcohol to therapy. Yeah, we don't have anyone patrolling in here, but it looks like it wasn't too much of a problem. There was guards all the way around, so I don't think we needed that. And there's... Oh! There's a... There's a Polaroid. Which is fairly representative of what's just gone on, which is, I assume, why the Polaroid has dropped. Anyway, uh, as I was saying about the shop and such, the other way of fixing this is to use the fairly recent uh, labour management, which I'm not a big fan of. It's nice to have the option, but it's just more stuff that I thought it could be done other ways. But anyway, you can change it so it's work slash free time and work slash lock up. That's what it currently is. We can alter it to say work slash free time and free time. So people will always work there between 10 and 8, which is in free time. So we'll try that. See, it changes from 10 to 6 but then it goes from 10 to 8. This is something someone directly uh, commented, so thank you for that. We can also... Wages. Shop. We're going to put the... The wages up. For the shop. Because they're working longer hours. That's what we'll do. Let's see if any of that actually has any effect. <laughs> yeah, and um, I should clarify the labor management. I like the option. It's good. And having the option is good, but it just works differently from any of the other types of stuff. And it's, yeah, nice to have, but it just seems a bit more bloat than anything else. Hmm. I'm sure I'll warm up to it. Or not. Either way, it's there. Let's see if it fixes it. If it fixes it, I'll like it very much, but there you are. Anyway, we've got the uh, two extra shop fronts getting put in. But it's just going to take quite some time. Because they'll be working on... What are the workers working on? There's an overdose. No, looks like they're bringing Bart back. That's fine. I don't know, actually, what they're working on, the workers. Lots of lights in here on the left-hand side. We'll get that sorted. I guess they're just waiting for stuff to go through all of this. Yeah, because it's happened to go through all the scanners. That's fair enough. Danger level going up. We're just going to have a quick look at that. It's some critical needs. A lot of these critical needs will be from people in in here. Extremely strong, extremely tough and deadly. Cover blown. Paul there. Oh, are they fighting here? Yeah, they're fighting here. <laughs> I thought there was some uh, fighting going on. Anyway, this is Duncan... Hold away. I'll recruit the informant. We'll check up here. No. Uh, he also... Oh! Ex-law enforcement. The life may be in danger. Dex, Krampus, Silver. Protective custody. Let's have another little run through here. Legendary and strong. So basically there are... A strongman. <laughs> and a quick once over. Can't see any. Oh, ex law enforcement. Put out of custody. There you are. And there's these two fighting, all three fighting. And the guard over there. Currently not caring at all. I've put guard response over here. One's been tasered. Alex is still fighting with this fella, and yeah, looks like they've stopped. Okay. So they have stopped all that. Fine. Looks like the chapel is being utilised, although it must be quite echoey in there. And naturally, the flower garden, really good as well. 
Right, so now that that's been sorted, let's go ahead and go over to our walls and doors and then to the tiled wall. I'm going to put in the tiled wall along here and then along here. And obviously we need to put in some doors for, for the access for these. I think we'll put in some maybe double doors in the middle. Is there a double door? Uh, there is There is not a middle, but you know what? What might look nice is a double door just there. That should look okay. So back over to our door, walls and doors, doors, and then double door. Rotate that around. One can go in there, one can go in there, and that will at least allow access into this area. And then the rest of this we do need to place in the... Uh, we need to place in the walls as well. So we're using tiled walls here. I think we will... Use the similar thing in this one. We will try and put some green flooring in, although it's oh, it's indoor only, so we can have the green mile, uh, which goes up to here. So we'll run it down to the centre, and whatnot. And let's continue on with the tiled walls. I don't know exactly. Oh, I was going to say I don't know exactly where the entrances are going to be, but I do know where the entrances are going to be because they line up right in the centre. So, there we go. There's that planned. And this guy's been found with a hand fork. And lots of hand forks over here. They seem to have nicked loads of hand forks. <laughs> Naturally, because, you know, they've, they've got flower therapy and stuff. So, they can come from there. Intelligence, dangers. You've got shears, spades, trowels, and hand forks. No, no claws, though. No garden claws or weed pullers or anything. Other more specialised tools are available, you understand. All of them serving the same purpose in this game, which is to, um, well, uh, attack people with. But, oh, actually, no, they're all digging implements as well. But, yeah, the metal detectors are doing exactly what they should, and everything is getting picked up, so there you are. We've also got mail. Let me say mail open there. It's getting getting dropped off. Currently on lockup. I could put it to work slash lockup. There is a work slash lockup if we check this one here. There you go. Work or lock up. We could put that there, but I think it's reasonable with what we've got here. And danger level is going down. Needs, there are still uh, a lot of luxury needs, so we may have to may have to look at that. I should point out we've got three grants on the go. Uh, the first one is eco-friendly, which is ten grand, and it's only use green power sources to power the prison instead of power stations for five days. We got one hour forty three minutes left. That is good. Calm three apprenticeship, ten grand, and produce ten superior beds. We're on seventy percent of that one, and then cell block D raise the prisoner capacity to seventy three, which obviously we uh, haven't done, and well, we can get done though. Let's just do a shakedown all sectors because we haven't done that in quite some time. That's going to be eight hundred and ninety two places. And there is one of the grants done. That is the Green Energy Grant, and there is a tunnel. So, a lot of the things we're finding, we've got things like the rolling pins, cell phones, booze, cigs, a couple of tunnels. Danger level obviously flying up. Mainly cell phones. Poison, ropes, syringes. Levels of contraband the prisoner are out of control, even though we've pretty much removed it all. Hmm. Scissors. So, I mean, all of this here really is, it's, I mean, the clubs are a cause for concern, as are the scissors and perhaps even the rolling pin. But, the rest of it, not so much. Dog leash. Where could you get the dog leash? Maybe attacking the dogs? Let's see if I can find dog leashes. Okay, this is a lot of cell phones in that area. Can't see the Can't see the dog leashes You can't click on it either Which is a shame mm. It matters not It could have just been Randomly smuggled in And there we go, there's that. And even with that, there's still a supply of weapons, tools, narcotics, and luxuries. Because those could have been stolen as we were searching. Going to go to Grants. We've got Criminally Insane Wing giving something back, which is sell units of 
power back to the grid, which we immediately complete. <laughs> um, right, okay. We've got self-sustaining, advanced farming, and overproduction. That's all to do with farming. I know there was, and there has been, a lot of requests to do farming in this in this build. It's not something I've really wanted to go down. Um, the green... We did a series on the, uh, the green DLC. So, although we've incorporated some of it into this build... Not like this, for example. It wasn't going to be the main focus. Anyway, uh, yarn. I should probably put the bench small. And it is bench. We will double check. Yes. And uh, let's see if this actually does anything. So there are the benches now put in. We will crack on over here. So I'll just finish off this little section. Tile walls. And I'll put some power in as well. So that would hopefully help out. So... Because these are, what sort of power we power Power expenditure is 972 and this one is 800. So this one is most likely going to power all of this wing. So I'm going to bring it across like so. And just run it from say there to there. And hopefully that will, that will say fulfill that need all the power needs in here but we shall see so just waiting for that to get powered up and then we can crack on there we have oh there you go so the both shop fronts are now being now being staffed which is good there's a death where they've been punched so hard they've turned into a red mist oh wow the psychologist murdered by a prisoner with a fountain pen this guy? Hmm. Samet Fledic Varda. Prison number 2082671. Sentenced to... <laughs> what? 98 years for multiple crimes including murder, trafficking and robbery. Why are they not a legendary prisoner and or... Yeah, they're extremely volatile and fearless. I mean, that's, that's like a very high category of prisoner. And look at the recent misconduct. It's so lengthy, it's moved on to another, 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 um, column. Right, okay. Then I guess, psychologist. Oh, uh, don't say they've gone over here. Yeah, they have. I'm going to hire another psychologist. I'm going to have two psychologists. And one can always be in here. There you go. And I'll not designate that as office. It's not required. Is there anything else in bureaucracy? Might as well unlock small cells. I think we have the money. Uh, yeah, just under 600,000. Do you know currents of currency? So more than, more than <laughs> possible, that one. I'm going to... I think activate an informant. I just want to see if there's anything I should be aware of and this is the easiest way to do it. Looks like we have yeah as far as I can tell everybody who pot potentially is in danger in protective custody. So that's fine. We have done that correctly. Danger level going up it's because they've been working so long, so there's like hygiene needs and stuff like that. I'm not too concerned. And this is now all lit up. Good. So, rooms. We want security. Um, cells. So this is six cells. And execution. So let's go for walls and doors and what's that I don't know what type of door that is I'm sure it's is it the white one I think it is so let's crack on with this 
get this build. Still hear more fighting. It's just a general increase in heat level and loads of sick in here as well. I'm guessing someone's an alcoholic in there and throwing up. Have a quick look at grading. Punishment is 7, reform 8, security 2, health minus 1. Re refending rate is good at minus uh, minus 7%. <laughs> that would be, uh, in, well, that would be very good if it was minus 7%. There are more people, or oh, less, yeah, hang on, how would that work? Minus 7% re-offending rate. Um, they're not only not re-offending, they're forcing others, they're not even in the prison to not even offend. It's like using the TVA to stop <laughs> historical crimes or something. Um, okay, so, yeah, 7%, 154 prisoners are being released. Paroled early is 136 with a 5% re-offended rate, so that doesn't really work out. Uh, deaths in custody 8, capacity 144, staff fatalities is 12. Prison value is over a, over a million. It is a decent one at that. We have only two grants on the go. The other grants that we could potentially pick up would be criminally insane wing, which we're not doing, and the basic farming, which we're also at this stage not doing as well. Uh, it's currently free time. I just want to go over to the shop and see are people... Yes, people are actually going to the shops. That's Tim Clegg there, who is able to buy... Looks like a book or a magazine. And others are coming to here... Hang on, they're all just going to stack around one. So yeah, even though we've got two shop fronts, it is not really working. And that's a shame. But we can see that there are lots of people buying books. And then lock-up happens in there, and then, then go. So, our luxury needs being fulfilled. That has, that has gone down a little bit, yes. Okay. It does function. Hmm. This is good, I guess. Uh, I should probably remove some of the tunnels that we found earlier. Which is three of. There's more fighting in there as well. Just double check that. It's been removed. And danger level going down. Okay, good. Right, over to here. Security room. Objects. Office desk. Goes in there. Chair. Final cabinet either side, why not? And that's it. That's all you need. The cells then. Each of these need to be fully self-contained. They need to have most things that you would need for prisoner um, habitation. Comfy bed, bed. Uh, we'll use comfy bed. So, I'm going to build one, two, three, four, five, six comfy beds, the toilets will go one, two, three, four, five, six, then drains under there. Because of the way I'm building this, I'm guaranteed to miss things out. But I'll come back and fix it. I'll end up putting things in places where we shouldn't. So I'm just trying to get as many things placed in here. That I can think of, really. Large windows. Don't think I want any windows. There's the electric chair. We will place that somewhere. Mm, what else do we want? TVs. There we go. I should, before anything else though, change the whole thing to death row. We can't have anyone in here. That is not death row. It's all death row. Otherwise, it would uh, most likely... It most likely just put other prisoners in here because they're actually highly graded. 
<laughs> so a lot of the prisoners from say these two cell blocks, it will move over because you know these are these are graded. So that's the basic cell. That is the basic cells there for Death Row now. Still haven't got the Carpentry Apprenticeship program. We should probably double check programs actually. Is there anything that we want to stop running? Guard Taser we can stop. Spiritual Guidance we'll run more of. And that's about it. Solar panel development and farm work safety. There's desires for that. I could potentially do the solar panel development. Practice solar panels. Can I do that? Yeah, let's 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 crack on with it. And have solar panel development. It's more work, more reform, more money. Seems to fit the overall theme of what we're going for. And we'll fire up. Fire up that as soon as we can. Obviously it requires them to build these first. There's one getting placed. And it's it's very strange because when you when you see them working, they are literally breaking the thing and then they have to repair it. It's uh very strange indeed. Look at that one there. That's been half built and then they've wandered off. Hmm. Oh, I was a bit uh, confused last episode uh, about where the other common rooms were. It's, it's under here. It's under them mats. Right. Solar panel development. We'll start that. And it says 66 interested. None of them are actually working. But yeah, that might take a while to sort itself out. Okay, these cells are now in and intake, death row, unavailable. I'll keep it. I'll keep the. I'll keep the ratios on. Like I say, we might not get them because we don't have a high level of prisoner category. I'm going to go over to. Oh, how do I do this? For security and such. For the flooring. So the flooring there. Could just use wooden floor. Can use limestone in here. And what would contrast well with the limestone? Probably mosaic. Hmm. Do you want to use mosaic? Because we've not really used mosaic anywhere in here. Although, those two would work quite well. Yeah, let's spend 21 grand on flooring. <laughs> to then redo a bit of it anyway. Because all this is going to become limestone. Like that. Let's see what that looks like. That's now placed. I may put more in. I'll do that as limestone as well. So there's loads of money wasted. But uh, let's be honest. At 608,000. Are we really that bothered? <gasps> no. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't like to be wasteful. But yeah. We have that. Uh, that's a luxury we can afford ourselves. Maybe not wasteful. Let's call it. Let's call it. Um. An output of artistry. Trying different colours out and textures in the prison. Danger levels drop right low. We have our needs. Yeah, that's luxuries still holding, if not going down. So, overall happy with that. I do want to do a shakedown. But I'm just going to search... Medium sec only, so <laughs> it's still 600 places to search, but it's not the 1,000 places that it could have been. 
finding lots of things, including tunnels. As I mentioned before, these bits of flooring here, I'm not going to stop everything to put those flooring tiles back in. It's a thankless job, so <laughs> maybe do it once an episode, if not longer. And because there's no guards free... Oh, a wooden pickaxe. Curious. Because no guards free, it's taking the time to do this. I do like that flooring. I do like that flooring a lot. I'm tempted to use the limestone floor in here, in these cells. Yeah, we're going to do it. It's going to give it... It's going to be a bit different. So there we go. What else do we want in the cells? What what grading are they currently? They're grading six. If they had an outdoor window, they would increase the grade. Tell you what I'll do then. I'll have a large outdoor window like that. That'll very much increase the grade. We've got a bookshelf. We haven't got a chair, but I am going to place a chair in here like that because then we can also place why is it recommending a door control system that's that's not what we want an office desk in here and also a radio And that'll be a very high grade of cell. Be the highest grade in, in the facility, I would imagine. Execution requires, as you might imagine, electric chair. And I think actual chairs. Don't get them mixed up. You can rotate it, sadly. I'm going to place it in the middle, or at least... What is close to the middle as possible. Um, cancel all that. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Just putting these chairs in like so. Giving them some gaps. Uh, I should point out that yes, there's, this is, again, far too big a space. It's not needed. But it is what it is. And then the limestone. I'll just replace because I cancelled some of it, you see. Apparently I cancelled lots of sections. That should all be now in. Alright, so that's getting built. Danger level increasing against critical hygiene needs and such. There'll be some of these from the prisoners who are in solitary. I'm going to activate Sean Shipley again. Just to see if there's anyone that's currently being targeted. There are several people being targeted, but they're all in here. So that is the best place for them, I guess. Going to go over to our deployment patrols. Doesn't really matter, but we'll have blue patrol. We'll go around like this. And then magenta, which will simply patrol the middle. It'll be... Hmm. Be a guard in there. Be a dog handler there. I'm going to go to blue patrol. And these will patrol all the way around the outside. Just in case we've got tunneling. And assigned dog handlers. And because it's a different coloured patrol, it works fine. Um. Yeah, I was going to say, is that staff only? It is staff only. <laughs> I was wondering there for a moment. Is that staff only? It definitely is. This should also be staff only as well. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. So, we've managed to get a couple of changes here and there implemented. A couple of improvements. And the main thing, which is what I wanted to sort, is we've got our... Death Row. 
In terms of intake, Death Row is unavailable. You can see Max Second Super Maxer here. And Legendary Prisoner, if we really wanted to bring one. But we do have all of the infrastructure, as it were, to support Death Row inmates. And that's what we wanted to accomplish. So, we are going to leave it there for this episode of Prison Architect. That's Death Row. And that's a lot of changes that we've made. Overall, pretty happy. Next episode, I want to, quite frankly, clone this. Clone this down there, get some more prisoners, and then we'll work on these common rooms and move on to a more management side of the facility. Although it's it's pretty much running itself with everything that we've done. And we have 666,000 money. Uh, brilliant. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's a Norman. We may have to get Max Second Super Max in to make this category available. Yeah. Yeah, it says the category will grow over time depending on the ratio. So that being maxed out, it might change, but we shall see. Either way, we are leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect, and we now have uh, Death Row, including the Execution Room. What grades have we got? It is grade of 13. Brilliant. All right, so we're leaving it there. Next episode, we'll crack on with the cloning and also maybe even these rooms. But we'll see, as always, how we get on and also what prisoners we get over here and go through all of that process if necessary. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this episode. <laughs> comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.